If President Obama and other G8 leaders are smiling, it's likely because they've spent two days at an idyllic retreat in the mountains. They all know solving the European debt crisis roiling world markets will not be a sunlit walk in the woods. The leaders here understand the stakes. They know the magnitude of the choices they have to make and the enormous political, economic, and social costs if they don't. Translation? Sure, slash spending, but not so much it triggers a euro recession. Yet organizers insist this summit has not been a knockdown drag out between Germany's Angela Merkel and her demands for austerity and France's new president, Francois Hollande, calling for less belt tightening and more stimulus. Uh, that's a debate that has uh, been going on for some time and we've welcomed the evolution of that debate and the uh, increasing emphasis um, uh, on the importance of growth. Indeed, the mantra here at the G8 has been unity on Europe's debt crisis, but also on security issues, beginning with Iran's nuclear program and halting it before the regime gets the bomb. Crucial talks on that program are slated for Baghdad Wednesday, and the administration says the signs are the Allies' unity is bearing fruit. Sanctions and pressure in combination with diplomatic uh, discussions, uh, and our hope is, is that we can resolve this issue uh, in a peaceful fashion. But that unity is being sorely tested at the weekend's second conclave, the NATO summit in Chicago. Its main goal is mapping a post-war future for Afghanistan. But Hollande is pulling all French combat troops out by year's end, leading to worries other allies in the NATO-led coalition could stampede for the exit. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Camp David, Maryland.